Hi guys, it's Ollie from Ollie and Lost Trains, and today I'm going to be reviewing the beautiful King Edward the First King Class locomotive, which is a 460 locomotive. I bought this from Hattons, very nice. It wasn't new, unfortunately, it was pre owned, but I'm really not complaining for the price that I paid for it. The price was £28. For this type of locomotive, if you don't do model railways that is very good for this if you look at some of their newer king classes they're upwards of 120 pounds as you can see it did come in its original box i mean there's only a little bit of tat to the box but i don't really mind that as you can see it's a very nice locomotive it was sort of cheap because it has missing buffer here a few scratches here scratch on the front bit of figures there and i bought this from hattons for a very nice price as you can see it's really good for the money as it has got a separately fitted handrail which you don't see in very many cheap locomotives it's got what is it nicely painted the whistles metal it's got pickups on every single wheel apart from the two driving wheels um as it is all metal and it connects. It is a tender driven locomotive. As you see, I will just take the tender off. Put it there. There we go. I've only had one problem. I had to replace this resistor here. No resistor. What do we call it? Lost the word. But I had to replace it. Because it broke. But for 20 eight pounds i'm really not complaining it cost me a quid to repair i had some spare if you wanted to do it yourself it would cost a quid so basically this is a really nice locomotive for the money and i recommend you pick one up from hattons there are some on there for about 35 pounds i looked and it's a very nice locomotive from hornby even though it's old okay i'm gonna put it on the layout and i'll catch you then Hi guys, I'm back and I've just put it on my layout. As you can see, this is a temporary layout as we are still building my one which is in my playroom. As you can see, it looks very nice and it is a very strong locomotive. Apologies, I will be using freight even though it wouldn't usually pull freight. It's just I don't have the money to afford that many wagons. Not wagons, coaches. As you can see, just ramping the speed up a bit. That's backwards. Rumping speed up. It's going to give it a little run round so it can get used to the track. And then we'll try some slow speeds. I don't, it's not too good at slow speeds and it is a very noisy runner. So if you're trying to make it quiet. This is very old carpet and if you are starting the hobby, put, if it's a nice fluffy carpet and it's not, and it's, and it's just new, I recommend you put, paper or just use the track mat you get because it can get in your locomotive and damage it this is very old carpet and it's run down so no fluff's going to get in as you can see it runs very nicely it's not too fast but i don't mind that i'm just going to slow it down as we get over the level crossing there we go let's try some slow speeds can go slow it's just, it's very old, so I think that's about as slow as we can get. Just keeps cutting out, okay. I'm going to put it on some wagons now, in, so you can enjoy, well, not really a running session, but a sort of running session. Okay. There you go. As you see, I have got flatbeds, and many people say don't really use flatbeds because they derail a lot. But I found that if you put weights on them, e.g. model trucks and cars, they don't derail. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use very high vehicles because it puts the centre of gravity up high and they might tip over. But any kind of weight will do. Even if it's just a weight you buy, kilogram weight, it will do. This is quite a nice locomotive for the price. 
and I am getting a class 37 hopefully um, from Hatton so I should be reviewing that soon and I recommend you go to Hatton's and pick one up yourself I saw one on there for about £35 the other day there's lots of good models on Hatton's even if you go on the Hornby website they're only about £10 more I don't mind paying that if they're brand new um, so I hope you enjoyed the, my first video and there is more reviews to come of other trains which I have you might have seen one in the background um, but thank you for watching and I'll see you next video bye